Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood, head of Welling in the National League South on Saturday. Just before we look at that one though, Adam, we'll look back on New Year's New Year's Day, where Hampton and Richmond Borough, nil nil draw, difficult conditions though, it was a tough pitch to play on. What did you make of the performance? Um, I thought it was some really good stuff to be fair. I thought first ten minutes or so we didn't really get out of their half, um, out of our half, sorry. Um, you know, struggled, they put us under a lot of pressure. Um, slight tweak to the formation which the lads seemed to take on board and and helped us and I think give us a bit of a foothold in the game and you know got the ball into the the attacking third on a lot of occasions um, I think there was a stat that 23 crosses we put in and only three completed so it's obviously um, an area for us to work on. So looking on over that whole Christmas period came away with five points the end out of nine two away draws and I think both of them could have been uh, potentially been wins. Is it a positive festive season or not? I think so, yeah. I'm beaten. I think we'd have took that. But um yeah, like I say, can't help but you know, this past month being the the um story of the the first, you know, few months at, at this level, um, including the cup against Maidstone. Um you know, I don't think I think we played well enough to win the game. Um the last two away games I think we play well enough to win the game and you know that's that's the message really I don't want to keep saying we're doing well we're doing well um, when I know there's more to come so you know we're going to keep our um, expectations and our standards high um, and keep demanding from myself and and all the players as well because you know we're, we're playing some good stuff but you know means nothing to have 70% possession if we draw games and you know that's what it's been in the last two games I think it's been 68 and 70% possession to us but you know, honestly it means nothing to me I prefer to have 30% and win the game so you know, I'm pleased with that's how we play and that's how we do stuff but now it's, it's about getting those three points and going into that uh, game against Welling on Saturday it's an ambitious team at this level but a team we did do well against quite early in in the season, I think it was our first away game at this level. What are you expecting from that, and what are you hoping to take into that one from this previous month? No, a big, big, strong, powerful side. Uh, I think the two boys up top um, causes some problems on the day, so you know we've got to deal with that threat. Um, but still, um, be brave to play our way. Um, you know, more and after the game was very complimentary about how we played, and um, you know it was really nice to to hear from him, someone that's um, had the kind of career that he's had in the game. But um, yeah, he also mentioned in his interview that he felt that we could be got at, and you know, um, you know, physically we could, you know, suffer a bit. So I'm sure that they're going to come big, powerful side and, and try and put us under a bit of pressure, and we've got to be, um, you know up to that sort of challenge as well and um, you know not just concentrate on what we're doing on the ball which has been good but keep that going but also deal with the threat that, that Wellen are going to bring as well. Looking over these past couple of games and they were on conditions that were a bit difficult uh, you could argue quite physical games Bath in particular was quite rough and tumble are you expecting something similar from Welling? do you think it's still going to be quite a tough physical battle? Oh yeah definitely um, just a, it, Warren's comments afterwards that you know, he felt that that was an area that we could potentially get done. Um, so, yeah, we stood up to it quite well for our, so far. Um, so, um, we know that it's going to be a big physical challenge for us. But, you know, we've got to stand up to that, but still be brave enough to go and play our way. Um, if we get drawn into putting long balls down um, centre-back throats, then there's only going to be one winner. But if we're brave to to play our way, um, you know, still believe that we can cause them uh, enough problems as well. Looking across the squad, and I'd say the team's pretty well rotated over Christmas, considering a few bits of illness and a few injuries popping up along the period. Who's available? Who might be missing for Saturday? Um, yeah, I think everyone available um, might have one or two new faces, potentially. We can get them over the line in time, um, and Aaron and Tati are going to be missing. They're going to be system today and system again on Saturday, but it's looking at two to three weeks for the pair of them. So um, you know, a bit of a bit of a blow there. But um, yeah, JB should be back now from from illness and, and stuff like that. So yeah, we've obviously had Sammy, and we're going to get Comrade out to get some minutes as well, um, which leaves us uh, a little bit light in in certain areas. Um, but I think it's important for their development as well that they get out and play. Obviously, Jav's gone to Billericay to get some games as well. Um, 
uh, Luke's gone to Whitehawk as well, so you know we just got to got to look at that um, and see where we are. But yeah, we're hoping to to add one or two maybe before Saturday as well. With uh, Tutty, is that the same issue you had before? Was that the concussion? No, completely new. He's uh, can't got over that now and um, got a slight niggle to his quad now. Um, so yeah, he's just having a run of it. He's obviously very. Uh, despondent and downhearted, um, you know, he was enjoying being back out there playing, um, but it, it's, it happens like that unfortunately sometimes, um, but yeah, it, it's, it's opportunities for other players, Ruben's come in, um, done excellent for us, um, so yeah, with them two out, it leaves um, competition now for other players to, to really stamp their mark and not say Ruben, Joe Rye, Dan Bowery, Luca, um, you know, opportunity for them guys to, to step up to the break. Excellent defence there uh, on their own right, all those boys. Looking into the midfield, you mentioned that Sammy and Comrade have gone off to, to get more minutes. Looking at the loan situation of Mo Dabre, he obviously has gone back to Swindon with his injury, and uh, Josh Chambers, is there any chance of them being extended? Yeah, we're hoping both will be extended. Um, I think um, Josh is going to be recalled for the FA Cup game, um, so it's a great opportunity for him. I think they've got Leicester, so um, he'll be involved with them, I think, this weekend, but we're hoping after that it could be something that you know we get done till the end of the season and we're hoping with Mo as well um, you know I think he's probably about two weeks away yet but we're hoping you know we're speaking to Swindon all the time seeing how his recovery is going and we're hopeful that you know that one could be extended as well so yeah them two obviously back will obviously boost to us massively and we're hoping now to, to keep them to the end of the season which would um, be, be great additions for us. And look at you on a personal level, so uh, New Year's Eve, with son Jack getting on the Brighton bench in Brighton's matchday squad for a Premier League game for the first ever time, and someone you work with pretty closely, Evan Ferguson, getting on the score sheet for a couple of games. How's that been for you uh, on a personal level lately? No, yeah, obviously, personally, um, it was great to a whole family. Um, I think uh, we had... Uh, over 12 of the family there managed to get tickets and go along to to watch him and um yeah obviously delighted um really proud to see him there at that kind of level um you know the level that I sort of always aspired as a player to want to try and get to um but yeah it's it's good but you know the hard work starts now for him um you know, obviously they're signing new players all the time in that kind of position i think there's uh, Argentinian lads and Irish lads have been signed even in the last couple of days in that position so you know that comes with playing at the highest level they're always looking for bigger and better players um, so yeah all he can do is, is keep working hard he's worked extremely hard to to get to the kind of position he's in but you know I want him to enjoy it but at the same time you know want to work extremely hard to make sure he gets a, another taste of it and the next sort of Action is is like I say, like what Evan and Andy Moran have done, um, get minutes on the pitch, um, you know. But he's got himself in a good place, and now it's about step, stepping, stepping everything up, um, everything to try and you know push that next step and, and get on the pitch.